Today, we're going to look at fractional parts of whole numbers. Let's look at the directions. It says, circle the fractional groups indicated in each problem. Circle groups of fifths. All right, so let's first see how much we have in total. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 circles. And since we're making fifths, we have to divide by five. So 10 divided by five equals groups of two. So I'm gonna circle my groups of two. So that means two is one fifth of 10. And let's see how many fifths I have. I have one fifth, another fifth, so that's two fifths. I have three fifths. I have four fifths and I have five fifths. All right, let's look at number two. It says circle groups of one fourth, fourths. So I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll have a total of eight. And I want to make fourths because the denominator says fourths cut into fourths. So eight divided by four is equal to two. So I'm going to have groups of two. So two, 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 two. So each of these is equal to one fourth. Therefore, two is equal to one fourth of eight. Let's look at number three. Circle groups of one fourth. So we got to find out how much, how many circles we have in total. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have 20 circles in total. And we want to make fourths. So we're going to divide by four. So 20 divided by four is five. So I'm gonna make groups of five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. I think I made that one a little too big. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So one fourth of 20 is five. Each of these groups of five circles is equal to one fourth of 20. Number four, circle groups of thirds. Let's see. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six. And we're making thirds, so we're going to divide by three. Six divided by three is two, so I'm going to make groups of two. So that means one third of six is two. Let's look at this number five. Circle groups of six. Let's see how much we have in total. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten times three is thirty. And thirty divided by six is five. So I'm going to have groups of five. So we have five, 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 five. Now let's have you do some completely on your own. Let's look at this one, number 10. Circle groups of one eighth or eighths. I'll give you a moment to get your answer. Okay, so we have eight going across. Three going down, so 8 times 3 is 24. So we have a total of 24. 
and then we want eight. So we're going to divide everything by eight. So then we're going to have 24 divided by eight. We're going to have groups of three. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do one more together. Let's do, let's do number 13. It says circle groups of one six or sixths. So I'll give you a moment to work on that. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten going across. So ten times three is thirty. And then we are making six. So we're going to divide everything by six. So we're going to have groups of five. So we're going to circle. All right. So we have six groups of five. And every one of these five circles is equal to one six of 30. So that's our lesson for today. This worksheet is attached and work on it and good luck in your fractions journey.